reaching out to all the winning candidates to join us live here on Live at Daybreak. And Congressman Glenn Grothman uh, is here with us this morning. Congressman, congratulations. This will be a little bit different look for you in Congress. It'll be your third term, but the first time in Washington serving in the minority as the House flips uh, control to the Democrats. So talk about what that difference will be for you as you move forward. Well, it's going to be more difficult to get uh, to tackle the big problems, things like immigration, things like welfare. But I was in the minority when I was in the state legislature. I've always been able to get along with people on a bipartisan basis. And it is very rewarding to accomplish things being in the minority, and I look forward to doing that as well. Well, the fact that the House flipped, does that send a message to you? And what does your third term look like in terms of your priorities now? Well, I, I think the same sort of things. I think we want to weigh in on the size of the budget. I think we want to have some influence as they tweak the tax bill, because I used to do taxes. And quite frankly, a lot of what we do is we influence the administration and the administrative agencies. And I hope to be able to do some of that. I want to give you a chance to pat yourself on the back as well. Uh, it was a, a tight race. It appeared to be in the polls. You talk so often about the need for the grassroots movement, and you feel that that turned out in your favor, and that was the difference in this race. It did well. Partly was the message we had, but partly I think I had a stronger grassroots campaign. It's always scary to go up with somebody who's going to outspend you like I was outspent, but it shows that you know, money doesn't always win out in politics. Mm. You know, we did some exit polling that showed health care was the most important issue that people voted on in this election. What, what do you see health care looking like for you? Well, hopefully we'll have more uh, joint plans, that sort of thing, so that you have lower costs. Large companies are able to take advantage of, of uh, their, uh, the size of the pool of people that they provide health insurance to. We have to have more larger pools because right now health insurance is just too wildly expensive, particularly for people in their 50s or 60s. Well, last question for you, and we appreciate you coming in this morning. Uh, let's look at the state of Wisconsin. You served in the state legislature for many years. Uh, you have Tony Evers, the projected winner today, and it appears he'll be uh, elected governor uh, and declared so. How does that change things in your view for the state of Wisconsin? Well, I think Tony ran on two things. He ran on changes to education. Um, I think Scott Walker put a lot of money into education, and he did do something making it easier to get rid of a, an underperforming teacher. And obviously, Tony wants to undo those things. The other big issue in the race was the amount of money we're spending on roads. So I think we'll look forward to some sort of increase in spending there. But I worked with Tony Evers when I was in Madison, and. I think I'll be able to get along with him, though it's very sad for Scott Walker. He was a great governor, but he didn't run that good of a campaign. All right, Congressman Glenn Grothman, congratulations again on your victory, and thanks so much for making time with us this morning. Glad to be on the show. Right. Appreciate it. Over to Storm Team 4.